Welcome to How To Pam, professional computing with free open source software. Today I'd like to discuss the downloading of a large file and then the checking of that file's integrity by using one of the checksum features. Now, there are different checksum features, uh, logarithms that actually uh, can run. Some were developed many, many years ago and are becoming obsolete now, and they're not trusted as being secure and integratable. However, many companies still use just the older version of the checksum, which was 128 bit encryption, and others have moved on to better encryption for security reasons. However, when you download a file, you will notice that the source of the file also is accompanied with a checksum, which we will show you how we can do that checksum. Now, the different checksums here, as you can see, are the MS, the MD5 sum, the SHA1 sum, and the SHA256 sum. Now, this is the oldest of the logarithms, and this one is not much newer, and then this is the latest and has the highest security as all of the ratings. You can check out the information on the MD5 checksum or the SHA1 sum or the SHA256 sum. I, when you download a file, you have what they offer here. So, as you can see with this particular file, there is a MD5 sum offered right here. So if we click on that, it is asking us to save that MD5 sum so we can save that file and that was for the Rosa Fresh Mate R8 by 8664 so let's let's go into our downloads and see where we have the sum that we just downloaded. So let's click on that and let's open that up with a notepad and see, there it is there. But how are we going to check this particular file that it belongs to? This happens to be the MD5 sum for this particular file. What we'll need to do to get the MD5 sum for this file is we'll use our console. Okay, so let's open our console and let's change the directory into downloads and let's type ls to list the files we have there. Now you can see that we have a file here and here is our MD5 sum which we have here. So to get the sum of this file we will Copy this with our mouse. Copy and let's ask for the let's type MD5 sum and let's paste right in there the file name and press enter. It 
takes a moment to calculate. And there we go. So what we'll do is we'll take this sum here and we'll copy that, okay? Let's copy that and let's go back to our notepad and let's use the find feature on the notepad. Okay, and it opens up here and let's paste into here. There you go, it matched. Okay, they're highlighted because they matched. So the MD5 sum which is 128-bit encryption came up with this number and the file we downloaded from the supplier from the source had this number and when we pasted it in the find it showed us that the numbers are identical that tells us that the MD5 is the same it's a match so the integrity of the file should is good okay so we can close that now another way to check that is often if we if we go uh, to another site that actually offers the uh, the checksum information like this here APRA City operating system offers the checksums right here on the web page so here's one here and let's see if we have that uh, we have APRA City here we have the downloaded file here so let's check the integrity of that. Let's go MD5SUM. Of APRA City. And press enter. Give it a moment. To do its calculation. Now you'll notice that this tells us MD5 sum, that's what they offer. They didn't offer SHA sums or SHA1 sums. They offered MD5, so that's the number we're going to use. Now, this is doing its calculation here. We're checking MD5 sum of APRA City operating system, Cinnamon. And there we go. Okay. So we'll highlight that and copy it. And let's move back to the web browser. Now here you have it here. In most web browsers, if you press the control F key, a find box opens up here. And we can paste our checksum in there. Ah, and there you go. See the browser highlighted that, it's a match. So the checksum we got from our terminal console happens to be a match with the number listed on the web here okay so that's terrific we know the integrity of that particular checksum is good okay so that's how we check the checksums either via the web or downloading a file and checking it out by opening the text ed editor Either way, we get the checksum. So it's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. How to Pam.